up beautiful people welcome back to my channel so in today's video we'll be showing you how to create a perfect c pad on your closure wig and we're using a six by six closure today and also i have my friend and colleague in today's video marian marian is my colleague if you don't know i am a wig and makeup artist and marian is a wig artist as well so we'll be showing you how to create a perfect c pad on your closure wig so the first thing she did was to create the C part on the closure. As the name implies, a C part. So she created the C on the closure. And also notice the kind of comb she was, she was using. They would call this like the tail comb over here. This will help you give you a well-defined um, part. So just get something like this or something similar at least to give you that well-defined part. So another thing to take note of is some of this kind of comb have sharp ends so be very careful of how you use them because some of them can damage your lace or damage your client's lace so be careful of the kind of comb you use and also how you use them Another trick to creating a perfect C part is 80% of the hair one side and 20% the other on your closure. 80% this side and then 20 I hope you understand that. So if one thing we need for this um, styling is your wax stick and then your heat protectant and also your um, hot comb. Very important. These three things are like the basic things you need. Um, other things can be used but this is like a beginner friendly tutorial so we'll just use this basic thing so if you notice the way she applied the wax on the hair she applied it on like the roots she didn't take it up and then she sprayed the heat protectant she still went on to define the line that's why i said make sure you look at it well look at it from up from side so it looks good and she still went on to make sure that part is well defined and then how our hot comb has made up an appearance okay so now you notice what she was doing earlier she placed the hot comb on the lace like the ss lace in front that is to test if the hot comb will burn the lace so if you're a beginner i'll advise you to reduce your heat if you're using the hot comb reduce the heat let's not be too high or too low too low will not give you that perfect flat closure and too high can burn your lace or burn your client's lace so just make sure it's not so high and so you notice she's just taking her time to flatten the closure for this um c part one part will be very flat and the other part will be a bit high but still flat mm -hmm. and so she has, uh, she has she made sure this other part is flat as possible she went on with it it's just watch and learn basically and also notice the way her hand movement was going how she was using a hot comb on the closure then she went on to divide the other 80 percent of the closure if you're not a professional you cannot make this part so flat without dividing it so you need to divide it make that part flat then go to the next point make it flat so you get to the top you understand what i'm saying later in this video so then she tried to make this other part not as much as this is like the 80 percent of the closure so she's applying the wax stick notice where she's applying this wax stick don't let it go down to the hair and then she used the heat protectant and hot comb you still notice that hot comb on the lace try and check how hot your hot comb is or else it will burn your lace so be careful with the hot comb now another thing for you to notice is how she's holding the hair how she's making sure this um closure is flat we are going for a flat closure as uh, flat as possible if you do this correctly you see how flat your closure will be Then she went ahead to divide the remaining parts that, was, that has not been laid well. So if you're a beginner, you just have to do this. If you're not a professional yet, you cannot lay that 80% so flat. So she took another part of the hair, um, applied hair wax and then heat protectant. And then she went on to use the hot comb. Well, just same process again.
So now she has taken the remaining parts of the closure. Still need to do the same process. Use your hair wax, your heat protectant, and lay the remaining part as well. On that thing I have to say, if you notice the hair wax is leaving a kind of white particle on the root of the hair. So when doing this, make sure the hot comb melts that hair wax. It's supposed to melt it. That white particle is not supposed to show after styling your wig. If you notice as she's styling, the white particles are going off. It's not like it will be there. So if it's still there on your hair, you need to really use the hot comb to melt it. You guys, look at that. This is what a perfect sipper should look like. If you're a beginner, I would advise you should practice and practice. This is achievable. You will get it right one day. So just practice with your closure. And also, please let me know if this video was helpful. And also, if you tried this method as well, leave me a comment. Let me know. At this point we're done with the closure styling this is just like extra um, you need to look at it so very well to know where to touch and where but we're done and this was so beautiful comment down below if you love this tell me let me know don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video thanks for watching